Today I want to share with you some new items in my wardrobe, things that I picked up for springtime, for summertime. This is my what's new in my wardrobe type of video. I have some goodies here that I want to share with you. I have accessories, shoes, clothing. Starting off with the first item and it is this uh, bucket bag which I picked up from Madewell recently. It's in this really interesting color. It's between brown and burgundy depending on how the light hits it. It's made out of 100% leather. It's very spacious. It holds my laptop, it has a little magnetic closure right here, a little gold buckle as well, just to elevate the bag a little bit. The leather is very soft, it has a nice structure to it, but it's not too stiff. In terms of durability, I've had this for a few weeks now and I've been wearing it on and off. And so far, so good. I think there's a slight scratch right here, but it's nothing major. Um, Madewell is known for their leather goods. They're really good quality for the price. So something I wanted to mention in case you're looking for a bucket bag. Now, the other thing I want to mention, speaking of bags, is this purse that I've had for probably six months. It's not a new addition to my wardrobe, but I wanted to mention it because it's something, hi Goldie, it's something that I've been wearing nonstop, I would say 95% of the time. Yes, you like the bag too? Excuse me. But I wanted to mention this bag in case you have been thinking about it. I was gonna do a separate review just to, you know, let you know my thoughts regarding this per, uh, bag. Overall, I think it's such a fantastic purse. This is the small size and it does come with a strap. I just put it inside and you can adjust how long you want it to be. You can also take the strap off and uh, use it as a clutch in the evening. I really love the size of this because it fits my phone, it fits my, um, my wallet, it fits a couple of other items. It's perfect for daytime, it's perfect for evening time. What surprises me about this bag is that, as I said, I've had this for probably six months, maybe even longer, and there's no scratches on it, nothing, zero. Um, so the quality of it is really fantastic. Um, now, the only negative to this bag is when you first get it, the opening is a little tricky. You have to look down and you have to, you know, pay attention. But then after a while, it just becomes automatic. If you are someone that wants an easy in and out, this may not be the bag for you. But overall, I think it's just such a great purse. Mm -hmm. To go along with the bag, I picked up this shoe from Everlane. I have these in three other colors as well. They are the most comfortable shoe that I own and uh, this is just one of my favorite pair of shoes of all times. As I said, I have them in other shades and I recently picked up another one. As you can see, it matches the purse and this was done on purpose. I was gonna go in and pick up another pair of black ones because my old ones are starting to look a little worn out and I just wanted to have a new pair for summertime. But when I walked into the store, these were there. I like this color, it's a little bit more unique and I know it's gonna go with um, so many of my outfits. I have some new sandals in my wardrobe and these have been on my radar since last year, but in a different color. Originally, I wanted the black pair, but I tried these on and I also figured, you know, I don't have anything like this in my closet and so I decided to get them. They're gonna be great for springtime, for summertime, just to wear with shorts, with white jeans. And as I said, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, so I figured, these are gonna come in handy when it gets really hot out there. And the other item that I picked up from Cezanne is a big surprise for me because I usually don't go for such bright colors, but it is this cotton cardigan in this very green shade. And again, I don't have anything like this in my closet. It does have little buttons right here that you can either open up or close. I got this in the size small. I still have the tag on because when I first got it home, I was, I really wasn't sure if I was gonna hold on to this. I loved it in the store and 
My feeling is it's probably gonna stay. Um, after thinking about it for a while, I figured it's gonna go really nicely with a pair of white jeans, just very summery, very spring-like, and um, it's made out of 100% cotton. I usually don't go for this um, shade of green. I prefer something a little bit deeper in tone, like sage, but, you know, sometimes you just have to get out of your comfort zone and try new things and so that's what i'm doing with this item and then speaking of green and something a little bit deeper i also picked up this buttoned up shirt from Cezanne in this white and green stripe and i got this in the size 38 so it's a little bit more oversized again this is 100 percent cotton it's perfect for this time of the year even summertime as a cover-up and I just, as you know, I like stripes. And so I like to invest in different colors. One more item from Cezanne. It's this brown cardigan that I picked up as well. And this is in size small. It's made out of, let me double check. Uh, it is 53% uh, merino wool and 47% cotton. So if you do have sensitive skin, this is great. It doesn't itch does have these uh, lovely buttons as well it just adds a little bit more character it is cropped it's lightweight as well it's not too heavy so i feel like it's perfect for this time of the year as well moving on to costs i picked up a few items the first one i want to show you is a pair of wide leg flowy trousers in this brown color i got this in the size four they are very comfortable as you can imagine being wide leg they're just very flowy very lightweight so it's going to be perfect for um, the hotter months that are coming up i also picked up another pair of trousers from Koss in this barrel leg uh, shape in this deep green color i've been looking for something like this for a while i have another pair that's very similar to this from everlane but they are a little bit thicker and um, i find that they are too thick for the upcoming months but this is uh, made out of 100 percent cotton they're lightweight i think they're just going to be great um, everyday trouser let me double check that they are cotton because i don't want to mislead you yeah 100 percent cotton okay so there you have it. They do have a little pocket in the back with a button, a zipper. They don't have a, um, a button in the front, just a little clasp. As you can see, they're gonna go really nice with my new shoes as well. As you can see, there is definitely a theme here. Lots of greens, lots of browns. I also wanna show you some t-shirts that I picked up from Koss. Okay, the first one, no surprise, is this deep green color. Um, and I got this in the size small, but it's nice and thick. It's so soft. The neckline is thick as well, so it's resistant to getting stretched really fast and looking a little bit sloppy. And then I also got it in this stripe pattern as well. It's um, black. Is it black? Yeah. No, is it navy? It's navy or black? I don't know. It looks black, but maybe it's navy. I'm not sure. Navy or black. Regardless, I still like it. And then I also got it in white. Standard white t-shirt. And then I also got this one in this brown color, which is not the same uh, shape as the previous ones I just showed you. The shape of this one is straight and it's more lightweight, I would say. The other ones are more boxy, as I said. I also want to show you a pair of sunglasses that I got. And these are from Target. I think I paid around $17 for them, but I just really like them. They're lightweight, so they don't hurt my ears. Sometimes when they're a little thicker back here, my ears start hurting, but these are really comfortable. And I really like the price as well. I am not someone that invests in very expensive sunglasses. I have done that in the past, and I just learned the hard way that it just doesn't work for me simply because I'm not very careful with my uh, accessories. And so, I just end up spending a lot of money and after a year they don't look great and so now i just buy cheap sunglasses that i can 
loose that I can throw around and I'm just I don't have to worry about it so that is everything I hope you enjoyed what's new in my wardrobe thank you so much for watching as always any questions any comments feel free to leave them in the comments section and I'll see you in my next video Thank mm -hmm. you.